that, he starts to think to himself, whoa, I am 40 years old. Maybe I, maybe I made the wrong decision in coming back. Maybe I chose the wrong opponent. Let him know that early, and that's what Camacho is doing. Without so wise, without a tune-up. Yeah, Camacho is so crafty in the ring. And Sugar Ray Leonard is providing the platform for Camacho to say, hey, I'm only 34. I still have something. And Camacho knows, knows that. He says, I have let so many opportunities slip by in my career. I could have been of the statue of, of Sugar Ray Leonard. Legend in his own time. Yeah, I'm a legend in his own mind. Opportunities like Julio Cesar Chavez to fight, which he lost one-sided almost every round. He said, I only had two problems in that fight. I was too slow and too defensive. I wish I'd use more offense. He says, I never gave myself the best training. And this, and this he brings that experience into this fight. With him, also the fight with Phoenix Trinidad, he did not throw enough punches. He was out punched. And in this fight, he is pressing the action. He's the one using the aggression. Not something you see from that punch. Be the man. Be the man. He hurt him twice. Jump on him. Be when assertive. You're hurt. Don't let him off the hook. Yes, he Jump read. On. Keep your hands right. high. You're going to knock this guy out. He's looking for one punch, son. He's looking for the right you're hand. You're going to knock this Don't guy let him out, get into said Reed. Every time he gets that little step, Reed is break his balance. Usually on break target his rhythm. Too. Yes, You've Reed is so good as a trainer. Here is a look at what they see. Whenever Ray leans over, he bends over at the waist, and that's when they want Hector to clock him. You, you're taught to bend. As you, when you bend over, yeah, you bend down. You squat. You don't bend over from the waist. Hector Camacho said he never, ever thought that he would be stepping in the ring in a fight against Sugar Ray Leonard. Camacho turned pro at the age of 16 in 1980. He was 127 pounds then. That was two months before Sugar Ray Leonard heard Roberto Duran say, No mas. Hector Camacho has had for so long so much incredible talent that you wonder what he gave away. He's spending a lot of his career running around and not, not focused on boxing. Problems outside the ring instead of problems inside the ring. Well, he laments. He said Lamborghinis, Mercedes, Porsches, jewelry, clothes, women kept him away from boxing. But never gave himself the chance to be the best fighter that he actually could be. But now settle down, peace of mind. He's married. Two young children. Training on a regular basis. He's fighting so much that he just doesn't have the time to, to get into trouble anymore. And he also has to set an example for his son. This is a kid that... 96 and 1 as an amateur. This is Hector. Hector Camacho. He has really grown up in this sport of boxing. And he lost his last bout as an amateur in the Olympic trials. He then turned pro and would not lose again for 10 years. Camacho won his first 39 professional fights before losing to Greg Haugen. And his two other losses with the losses to Chavez and Trinidad. You know, Leonard is standing around and smiling every time that Hector uh, scores, but smiling doesn't give you points. There's another good combination, and look who's trying to tie up. Sugar Ray Leonard. But you know, you, you can never count out a fighter like Leonard. Remember what he did to Hearns? You have to wait till the 13th and 14th oh, rounds. Right? 14th round. Yes. Well, of course, scheduled for 12, but, I, but, but he always has the power in his back pocket. It's just a matter of pulling it out. The, the first thing that goes on a fighter is his speed. The last thing that goes on any fighter is his power. They all have the power. They just don't have the speed. Those are seconds of the fourth. Break off, break off, break off, step back, step back. Two Ooh, games. There's the that is. right there. That's it. Right on the eye. All right, seconds out. Percy. The these left-handed fighters throw punches at you at different angles. They also throw their head at you at different angles. Well, the rule is 
pertaining to this IBC championship fight on an accidental headbutt. If it goes six rounds or less, and it's stopped because of that accidental headbutt, it's a technical draw. If it goes more than six rounds, then they go to the scorecard. Let's go. Let's go. John Saracino watching. Oh, oh, a good shot there by Leonard. Leonard is down. He was hurt. He was trying to grab hold of Hector Camacho. Sugar and Leonard having difficulties getting to his feet. And you know Hector Camacho will seize this window of opportunity and go right at him. Sugar and Leonard in trouble. So much time remaining to try to survive this fifth round. Joe Cortez is ready to stop this fight. Camacho landing. Cortez should stop it now. It's time. There it is. And it's all okay, I'm on. over. Okay. Okay. He guaranteed it. Hector Camacho was supposed to be a safe opponent for Sugar Ray. And it's Camacho's rebirth in the world of boxing. Although many will look at it again as we talked about no win situation. Sugar Ray Leonard looked at 40 the way he looked at 34 against Terry Norris. Actually didn't look as good. Yeah, completely overwhelmed. Hector Camacho used his speed, his ring savvy, his footwork to move forward. He pressed Ray Leonard, put his punches on Ray Leonard, made him hurt, made him feel every bit 40 years old. In the opening round, Hector Camacho used his speed to let Sugar Ray Leonard know we're picking you up where Terry Norris left it off. And here's what happened. It is Camacho talking Leonard, putting him down to the canvas. Leonard gets up, and this is where Camacho really shines. Look at these punches from Hector. No retaliation from Sugar Ray Leonard. Hector Camacho really pouring it on. Joe Cortez is ready to stop the fight, and there it is. Good call by Cortez. Leonard was defenseless on the ropes. He did not have his legs. He did not have his the speed of his arms. Single punching early. Tried to catch Camacho, figuring maybe his strength would take Camacho out early. Sugar Ray Leonard looking back. And when he came out of a three-year retirement and was able to pull off... The incredible victory over the heavy favorite Marvin Hagler that perhaps he could come out of a six-year retirement against the suspected light-hitting Hector Camacho, but Leonard was 30 years old in the fight against Hagler. And in the same time, Camacho had 27 fights. Right. Hector Camacho backs up. The big talk going into this fight. And basic dissection of the former great Sugar Ray Leonard, who we suspect will go back into retirement, although we will hear from Sugar Ray. He may feel that he needed those rounds. He sees where he is right now and will go back to work. Only Sugar Ray can tell us that. But uh, in this affair, it was all Hector Camacho. It appeared from this angle as if he was pitching the shutout and a defenseless Sugar Ray Leonard against the ropes in the fifth. Joe Cortez, who has refereed 89 World Championship bouts, knew the exact time to step in. Let's get the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Joe Cortez has to step in and call a halt to the bout. The official time, one minute, eight seconds of round number five. The winner and still IBC Mid